So how will like so you got perseverance, you got the grit, you want to do it, but you want to know some ways that you could become a better you. Well, uh, I saw this, I found this, and there's a free ebook here or audio book or whatever if you want to read it or hear it or do or do it you want to do on your own. Um, this is the website, and here it is. Download free ebook. Boom. 101 ways to be a better person. We, so we're going to start here. So we cannot become that. Yeah, we cannot become what we need to be, remaining what we are, Max Dupree, and that's it. If we if we continue doing the same that we always do, we can never become a better person than we are today. We have to break out of our comfort zone and start doing some new stuff, right? So how does one do that? We're not even going to commit. We're just going to go to these ways. Commit yourself to growth. Be growth oriented. The more you grow, the more you become better. The more you fail forward, the more you you learn from your failures, the more you correct those mistakes, the more you become a better you. I mean, that's the most easiest direct way you can do it. Uh, that there's no other way to like put that. Um, which is what this goes back to what we were talking about just a few seconds ago. You work on your how you do that. You work on your negative traits. Like okay, so your your wife became a cheating whore, right? And she can she she can suck Chad's dick and and was in grinding on Tyrone's cock, right? Well, what did you contribute into that? Because you did contribute to that. I mean, it's not your fault. She ultimately chose to do that, and she's responsible for her own actions. But what led her to want to take those actions? You what 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 did you do to make her lose respect or attraction to you? Uh, what, what what negative traits do you have that that like? narrowly like it basically sawed that connection away like right? she lost respect for you and she lost attraction for you and ultimately she should have said something and you could have worked on it instead of going to and fuck chad and tyrone but she went and fucked chad and tyrone but you still need to take responsibility for whatever you were doing that created that or it's going to happen again again and again like and that's any negative trait that you have right uh, you you got to know who you're. You got to you got to know where you want to be. Identify your your ideal self. If you don't know who you are, what you want out of life, what makes you happy and stuff, where you're going, your general plan, you are gonna always fail. You know when when you're when you're going from point A to point B, you know the route. You know exactly where you're going. You know you're turning at the red house. You're going to go five, six blocks, turn at the oak tree. You, you see what I'm saying? You know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, you're not ever going to get there. Uh, find a role model. There's plenty of role models you can be. And then uh, once you've had a bunch of role models and you started working on yourself and you've identified yourself and whatnot, uh, share that forward. You become a better you by helping other people become a better them. Be better to people in general, like it's all the same. Be better to people in general. Be better to people in general. Be better to people in general. Be a better parent. Yeah, see, it's, it's be a better employee. All right. So, even if you're doing the shittiest jobs, always give it a hundred and ten percent. You're you'll get the job done quicker. You get more respect, and you have more opportunities for advancement. People will respect your work ethic, and you might get more up. You, you, you might, you will get more opportunities in life. That's just how it works, and that, and that that's the leadership. Uh, learn how to like listen to people. You can't just be a one man army. You got to learn how to like. You got to know when to tell people no and when to tell people yes, because that's what the true mark of an alpha in the in the wild is. You know, we we say, oh, he's alpha, and the guys usually. Have money badass or whatever but he's a dick an asshole that guy's not alpha an alpha guy knows when to put his needs above his pack and when to put the pack's needs above his own and we need to be better at recognizing that um that starts with being a better member of your community like if you live in a city and you're complaining about it but you're not going to the meetings you're not contributing you're not doing something do you really have the right to complain about it that 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 in turn will make you better to other humans, which is the same thing as the last four times. It'll help be better in the world. <laughs> and you can't do anything unless being skillful, which means you have to like hone your skills. You have to practice. And I, I love that. You have to level up. 
That's why I like the roommates podcast. It's always level up being a man. These are just things you can help. Like learn new things. If you don't have any skills, go get some. Be accepting of differences. This you can have your um, your standards, things that your moral things. Well, I'm not going to make that. I think that's moral, but but you have to generally be okay with people that don't think the same as you. You have to be adaptable and flex risks. You got to be able to be adventurous. You want to take risks. If you don't take risks, you're not going to be there. I mean, you can be altruistic. Tell the all the time. These are just things. Be assertive. Be attentive. Look people in the eye. Be bold. Be candid. Always tell the truth. These are just really simple ways one can do to improve themselves every day. And this is this is not a marathon. This is not a race. It's a marathon. Um, as long as you make it to the end, you win. Uh, some people will. Some of this stuff will help others. Some of the stuff won't help. Some people get some of this stuff unlocked. Others do not. You only you know you. That's the importance of learning to be you, becoming a better you. And every day failing towards a goal to become a better you. Every single day you should have a personal development goal. Whether it's um, read a book, um, listen to a uh, – just uh, build something that I said I was going to build. Do something for somebody I said I was going to do. Um, uh, tell the truth all today no matter what happens. No, not not a single lie, not even a white lie. These are little things you can do to help improve yourself, becoming a better you. Little self-development things every day. You don't have to spend lots of time on them. Uh, the more time you spend on them, the quicker you accomplish them, the better you, the quicker you become a better you. But you also can't neglect other areas of your life either. So, like, you got to be better at knowing when to put your community above yourself and when to put yourself above your community. And once you do that, you're on the path to be, being a better you. Just watch, do that, and watch how your world changes. People will react to you differently. Women will react to you differently. I've just been starting to do small things and paying attention more. And I've noticed women like putting their, like crossing the street, waiting for my car to come to put their asses up. Or turn, like I'm, I'm noticing the little things. And I'm not even trying to get women anymore. I'm just trying to fix my own PTSD and my own happiness and my own depression and my own health and stuff. And it's having, doing that for myself is having effects in other areas of my life. I'm just saying.